So hello fellow coin collectors and banknote collectors, this is Glenn and today we're going to have a look at some odd denominations from Burma. So these ones were issued in the mid 80s and basically at this time Burma was run by a dictator called Ni Win and he actually was very into superstition and one of his superstitions was a uh, nine uh, some of these are related to nine some are not but basically some person told him that he would actually live to nine 90 I should I say and actually uh, one of these banknotes actually reflects that so let's have a look from the lowest denomination to the highest so, as you can see, this one actually has 15, and this is actually 15 Kayats. It was introduced in 1986. While it's not the first, it was the actual lowest. And it has An Sun, who is actually the founding father of modern Burma, and the father of An Sun Su Chi, who has actually fallen from grace over the period. And on the Reverse, we have actually a Min Na Prince well, from uh, one of the wooden puppet shows. And Wikipedia actually has an article explaining who he actually is. And as you can see, it has, uh, looks like more medieval Burmese architecture. And a lot of design actually reflects Burmese culture in uh, the Buddhist designs so that's actually a nice banknote the watermarks actually also unsung then I'm not too sure what I actually issued a 50 but we'll get to that in a minute then we have the actual 35 so this one was also introduced in 1986 and also has unsung in the military uniform and the watermark is also his face and it has a security thread and it actually has a peacock which is stylized which is pretty normal for mythological creatures or in uh, ancient architecture and as you can see it also is a type of security feature because if you look through it they should actually match up so the front and back should actually match up. Then on the reverse, we have a nice architecture. And this is called a nut. So they're actually 37 nuts, nat, N-A-T. And they're actually people who actually died of pretty violent deaths. And have been deified. And I read a few of them. Some of them are actually quite evil and some of them actually are not and these are actually uh, now pretty much religious figures they actually have shrines just like you have a shrine for Vishnu or Kunyam or even a shrine for um, to pray to another god and uh, that, that's basically their beliefs so once again Wikipedia also has a good uh, page for the nut, N-A-T, and it's quite informative and uh, has a quite a lot of subsections. So that's 35, and I'll just skip the 45 for the moment. Then we have the 75. So this one actually also has unsung, and it's related to the 15 and 35 Kayat banknote. So this was the first one issued in 19... 85 and it's supposed to have been issued for the 75th birthday of Ni Win. That's not confirmed, but uh, 1985 was actually his 75th birthday, I believe. And sorry, I was just looking at my information. The watermark's also Ni Win. Uh, not Ni Win, Unsung. Surprisingly, Ni Win actually never appeared on these actual banknotes. And as you can see, it has uh, some dragons down below. 
which probably were adopted from Chinese culture. Chinese culture actually expanded quite a lot. And here we have uh, Lo Kanal. I know I butchered that name. And is actually the mythical symbol of peace and prosperity in uh, Burmese Buddhist culture. And as you can see, it has the typical pinting of the last finger and the thumb in the Buddhist style of peace. And uh, as you can see, it has a nice, beautiful coloration. So the 75, the 35 would have been introduced as a half denomination, even though it's not half of 75, but you can't really have um, uh, 37 and a half kites. That, that makes it really weird. And I presume that the 15 was actually introduced to be a third, or a half of 35 once again. You can't have uh, 17 and a half kites because that's also a bit weird. So that's basically why they probably issued the uh, 15, 35 and 75. So 75 for the win 75th birthday and these two just as half denominations. So that is the first part of the weirdness. And... Um, these are actually withdrawn from circulation and pretty much, I think the 75 was demonetized, but the rest was not. So then we get the 45, but before that we get to the actual 90. So this one was actually issued as someone told him that he would live to 90, which he actually did. And it was issued in 1987, so the 75 was withdrawn. And demonetized and this one was issued and as you can see there's two pin marks because um if you collect uh older indian and bangladeshi and pakistani banknotes you see that they're actually stapled together so that's why it has staples on them and this one actually has sayasan he was a physician he was a former monk and he led the Sayasan Rebellion against the British in 1930-32. And he was actually executed for it. Uh, the British actually probably brought him in on a lot of uh, upbeat charges. And uh, they hanged him for it, pretty much. The watermark is also him. as a security threat. And on the back... We have rice farming and also some oxen on a field. And you can see that this one's um, Union of Burma Bank. Union of Burma Bank. And this is actually the last series that was issued under uh, Burma. So it's quite a nice series. Odd denomination, no? Then we have the 45, which is actually a half of the... 90 and then actually replaced the 35 quiet which was uh, withdrawn and demonetized as well so These ones actually were never withdrawn they were Only left to actually fall out of circulation And the 100 quiet is actually a coin now so the 1, 2, 1, 5, 10 50 and 100 quiets are actually coins, so they actually wouldn't use these anymore anyway. And this has a portrait of Fu Hia Goi Gil. Gil? I can't. Burmese names seem to be a bit hard for me to pronounce. And he was actually an oil worker and he led the 1300 revolution in 1938. Um. He actually was not punished by the British for it. Uh, he actually passed away during the Second World War under British occupation. But he is also a significant figure in Burmese independence. And as you can see, this one's actually quite a nice denomination. And this one looks like it's actually looking down on top of a stupa. The stupas are like a giant circular temple type place where... Um, you can actually go and worship Buddhists. 
and other people, saints and whatever else. Here we have a plant in the center, and on the reverse we have an oil field with oil workers. So obviously they're looking for oil. He's actually has protection on the top anyway. He's got no shoes on. And I presume that one, that figure there is actually Fu. So it's probably his last name. And this is actually also a nice banknote to actually get. So that is basically why I have read about why these actually banknotes were actually issued. So we have the 90 and 75 that were issued for the 75th anniversary uh, birthday in 1985 and the future 90th anniversary uh, birthday uh, when he actually passed away. Then we have the 45 which is half of 90 so just a half denomination. Then we have the 35 which is sort of a half of 75. Then we have 15 which is half of uh, sort of half of 35. Uh, the, the 15 was never withdrawn from circulation so that kept circulating up until the 1990s. So anyway I hope you enjoyed this presentation of weird banknotes from Burma. Obviously no other country has actually issued so many weird denominated banknotes. But this is all probably based on uh, numerology and astrology and all the other type of uh, hocus pocus stuff out there anyway. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I'll leave a uh, link down to eBay below. These banknotes shouldn't actually cost much. Between five and fifteen dollars, you can pretty much pick up all these type of banknotes anyway. And uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so I can show you more awesome stuff from around the world and have an awesome banknote collecting time. Thank you and bye bye.